Hello, this is Sybil Harmony, and I'm an intuitive. I do readings. I see clairvoyantly. I hear messages. And this is a political or world event video. And we're going to look at 10 years of chaos and or changes on Earth, which we are now in. Well, it feels like we've been in chaos for a while, but I'd say about nine more years. Uh, <laughs> okay. So we're going to look at Robinson. We're going to look at running for the the black Nazi running for governor in North Carolina and clean up on aisle nine from CNN. <laughs> uh, the endor kind of backing Trump and then trying to then spilling the beans to get ratings on Robinson and now kind of kind of a weenie going, uh oh, uh oh, we. We told the truth and they're mad at us. Yeah, these people aren't, aren't playing. They don't play. Okay. Um, government uh, uh, funding. Um, we'll check in on that. Now let's look at Diddy. Will he turn on 45 and what is their relationship? What was their relationship? Um, I, I touched on my last video. I was going to do a thing on aliens. I re-recorded it so many times, I think I lost track. I think I just mentioned a little bit on aliens, but let's talk about aliens here. They've been here, okay. They've been here for thousands of years, but okay. Um, <laughs> the government's been hiding it, okay. Um, why um, predictions are so difficult these days, okay. And that may help other psychics as well. I'm a teacher of teachers. And also um, the field of medicine, new um, medical or healing uh, frequencies coming to earth and the new, the new technology, how that can help us, the, the new technology and going back to herbs and all those things, how that can really help us. Okay. So I don't know if we're going to do this in this order. Let's do the things that I already read on first because they're just a check-in. Um, so um, funding the government, I said, would the government would be funded. Looks like they're going to get it. I feel like they tried to get something through uh, Speaker um, Maga Mike. Yeah, uh, put kind of put tried to put a bill through, but it would do something weird with voting that Democrats didn't like and he couldn't get enough votes. So that uh, that's what 45 wanted him to do. Um, shut down the government. And do this thing so that illegal uh, people who aren't citizens can't vote. People who aren't citizens already can't vote. They just want to make it harder because that's the only way. Um, I, I mean, I'm not against Republicans or Democrats or independents. I'm just here trying to be, I'm trying to be a little bit more neutral. I'm trying to be on the side of truth and character and loving our country. Okay, so, but some because the republicans positions are unpopular they kind of resort to um passing things that aren't popular that that people don't want like a ban on abortion which affects women's health or telling people it's it's because you know they're they're killing babies when actually mothers that want to have children can be made sterile if they aren't treated properly medically. And because of all the fear around abortions, some women have died and miscarried and they weren't able to receive proper treatment. So instead of addressing that and going back to, you know, people using quote hangers and illegal stuff in back alleys, which is what we did for, for eons before there was safe medical abortion, it's not going to go away. It just makes it dangerous and risky for women and men too because sometimes men aren't ready to be fathers certainly children and rape and so let's go so the government funding i did see a bill going through so there is a bill that looks like i i say it passes let's pull a card and there's the, i guess there's going to be a vote on wednesday this week this is the 24th 23rd of september so 2024. Okay. So will there be a bill? Well, will a bill Wednesday uh, pass to fund the government? 
Um, there's a lot of emotion around this because the Republicans are unhappy because Trump does not like it. Um, some of the uh, Democrats are not on board. Hmm. Oh, they weren't on board with what was offered. Huh. It's a temporary. Uh, wait, I'm not, I'm not seeing it's going to pass. Wait a minute. Will the bill pass the votes in Congress on Wednesday? Barely. It's, it's just a temporary. Okay, so then they're going to redo it in December, which can be a real problem because the election will have happened and we may be in legal battles. And uh, okay, so it's not really anything to celebrate because they're just pushing it to December 20th or something. I think uh, Congress may even be on Christmas vacation then. Okay, so all right. Um, and that's what I saw happening that he would put that uh, Speaker uh, Mega Mike would put forth one bill and that was a, not very substantial. And um, let's see, will they fund it for the year or whatever? I don't know how often they do it for two years or a year. Will they will they pass a bigger bill um, in December this year to fund the government? Uh, no, they're going to have more trouble. Okay, that brings us back to the nine years of changes and chaos that we are in the middle of, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, it, it doesn't have to be like this. It didn't used to be like this. Government is actually here to take care of and protect and support and do the will of the people. And they're when parties work together to do that, even though they have different ideas to hash it out and come up with the best plan for the American people to protect our rights, our freedoms and the pursuit of health, happiness and what is it and prosperity. That's not what they've been doing for a long time. They've been doing the will of large donors, billionaires and lobby that hire lobbyists. So we have a very um, distorted uh, deceptive system right now. That's why we're having, it's like all, I keep saying this, it's darkest before the dawn. All, because the light is so bright, we can see all, all that is it, you know, that's hiding in the shadows. Like you go in a room of a house that's been abandoned or something and you turn on the light and all the critters scatter. Okay. So not that critters are bad, but that's the I, that's the metaphor of what's happening um, on our earth now. Because consciousness is raising, um, and we're getting, becoming more uh, woke, which is a pseudo term for awakening of the soul. As we awaken and use more of our brains and become more intelligent or wise, I would say, um, we begin to see and the energy is shifting and we're going to a new age. We begin to see all the stuff that isn't working is just, and that's the back to the nine more years of chaos or that it was 10 years. It feels like it's been more than that, but you can't imagine it getting more chaos than this, but okay. All right. Um, so I, I do feel like, yeah, it's going to be trouble later, but okay. Um, now, when Kamala gets in, and um, I'm seeing, now this could change because remember I told you about, I, I was going to talk to you about readings and prediction, but I do see a blue wave. We do need to get out and vote, all hands on deck, and Kamala is fighting. I see her like a prize fighter, like a boxer, and she is, she is, she's taking gut punch after gut punch. I see him like in a boxing. Like, bow, bow, bow. They're just going for her. And she keeps coming back. And she's going to win. Now, when I look at 45, yeah, let's just look at him for a minute. I see him, now, literally, she's not going to pull his pants down. But I see him with his pants down. In other words, that's a symbol for he's being exposed. And his pants are around his ankle. And you know how you try to walk with your pants around your ankle? You can only go, 
uh, take little steps. He's trying to run away, but his ASS is showing. He's We're seeing more of who he really is. America's seeing and the world's seeing more of who he really is because she's pulled his pants down. She spanked him in the debate. And that's just the what, what happened, okay? And I do feel like, oh, I didn't even say I was going to do this. I do feel, now, like I said, this is a prediction of the future and we have free will. And so I'll talk about that now for a minute. So I'm going to weave it all together, okay? Okay, so... Because this is a prediction and that we are jumping timelines now, in other words, things are changing really quickly. And so on this, like if you have thoughts and actions on this timeline, you're making this happen. And then if you change your thoughts and your actions and your feelings, your energy changes or the collective energy is changing so fast, we jump, we, we're jumping timelines. And that's what, another reason why it seems so chaotic is because people are up here doing things to protect the environment and children and the ocean and purify the, and then down here people are polluting. So this is a really low vibration. The polluters are doing that. And then people are up here doing, we're gonna fix it and that we're jumping. And so everybody's on different timelines. And so that's why a lot of psychics read different things because they're not, it's, they're not a bad reader. They're just reading a timeline, okay? Because you have to read something or else you don't have anything to say at all. Like, what are you going to look at? Okay. So on that timeline, that looks real. That's how, okay, here's what's happening. Okay. But then we jump a timeline or these people jump over here and then wait, like, it's kind of like we were looking at Biden, Biden and Trump, Biden and Trump, Biden and Trump. And then, oh, Kamala. I knew the day before I had kind of a feeling I kept saying Biden's going to win by a little bit. I felt like he would have, but it would have been a struggle and we would have probably lost seats in House and Senate. But then we just, we all just took a big jump. And that's part of the chaos. It's we're jumping, like the past is going to be left behind. We are not going to be, we're not going to be doing that anymore. It is change and a new energy coming in. And so as we jump a timeline, then all of a sudden, oh, so you could be reading like, oh, the court cases, the legal things are here, they're here, they're here. And then boop, no, nope, now they're over there. And boop, now they're over there. You see what I'm saying? So it's really hard to read. I, I almost like just saying like what's already, like I can look at what people are thinking and doing now. Uh, <laughs> I can look at what they hid, what they did in the past. But as far as predicting what they're, I mean, and that's a part of us that wants to know because we want to feel safe and secure. We want to know what's going to happen. We want to know if we're going to be okay, if our country's going to be okay. And that's normal and natural to want to feel safe and okay. But that's not really where safety and okay is. Safety and okay comes from you doing your own work, us all bringing our collective consciousness to shift our world from a place of chaos and lower energies and toxins and wars and poverty and few at the top having it all and everybody else struggling and suffering or being squeezed to a world where there is sharing and love and peace and uh, you know protecting of the earth and all its creatures and having honor and respect so this is a world where we have character and we can't control other people but we can in within our set we can call it out we can take steps we can definitely do action we can vote we can be there uh for people we can make donations we can drive people to vote we can talk to people about the issues we can do all that we can be involved in ways that work for us okay but when we are in that higher vibration we're helping to shift our world, which is really what's happening. Because if you listen to the mainstream media or whatever, they'll make you think, well, yes, it's about the issues. Yes, it's about women's freedom. Yes, it's about all that. Yes, it's about not being prejudiced and hateful. But it really comes from a deeper place of ra the raising of the consciousness, of our consciousness and our vibration, which is a frequency 
where we connect with our heart and our love and our mercy and our compassion and where we connect with character and truth. We have lost that. And you don't hear that on the mainstream news. You will not hear, oh, once in a while they put in a little story about cute little kittens or we love children or something. But they don't say, they like, what's the campaign messages? What's the messaging? It isn't all about dumping obscene amounts of monies on politicians and their message. Like, what about, what are they really going to do? Who are we electing? Who are we and who are they? And how do we know if they're an upstanding, a right, you know, person that's going to really put the people first? How do we know that? How do we know they're not lying? Because we are embedded in a soup of disinformation and lies from the first time you watch your first, uh, maybe even your parents. You know, when you the, the kid says, mommy, why is daddy drunk? He's not drunk, he's taking a nap. Or, or we think that we're not good enough. Like, what's wrong with you? Why can't you do this? Or why can't you be like me? Instead of a parent saying, let me help you find your strengths. Let me teach you about truth and integrity. And then it, you know, the first time we watch, um, I'm sorry to say this on YouTube. I hope they don't. <laughs> I, I like ethical ads, YouTube, on my shows, please. I do ads, but ethical. The first time we listen to, you know, an advertiser that's lying about their product or that you need to have this or the politician lying about an issue and then they get in there and they don't do it. So we are trained not we are we are trained for profit, for competition, for deception to not be in our integrity and in our character. All right, so let me I'm going to talk more about that in my spiritual videos hopefully coming up this week. I usually put those out they come out on Thursday. I do them on Wednesday, but they come out on Thursday. Okay, so let's get back to, let, let's talk about, speaking of character and integrity, oh, Robinson, did I talk about it? Robinson, yeah, clean up on aisle nine. So to get uh, views, eyeballs turn to the, you know, whatever, CNN, and one would hope they have some semblance of, let's tell the truth, and it's really kind of an embarrassment for a lot of Republicans, and it should be an embarrassment for 45 and his campaign, that Robinson is so out there, and he really is. The, he's just, he's denying the accusations. Of course he's denying it, that he said he was a black Nazi and that he likes gay porn. And um, I don't care if you like gay porn, get on with your whatever you want to do. I don't care. As long as you're not hurting people or children or something, I, I don't care. But if you're going to stand up there and be moral and say that, you know, gay people are, you know, shouldn't, should be, not be here or not exist or aren't, you know, godly or whatever he says, something like that, then it shut your mouth. <laughs> you know, you, why do you, you know, so it's, this is, goes back to integrity. This is not a person of integrity that should be the head of the dog catchers. I don't think dogs would like him. Hope you know some dogs. You know dogs love unconditionally. They somebody a dog loves everybody, even people who abuse them. They they do that. But this is not. This is governor of North Carolina. He shouldn't be the head of a church because it's um, he's not a person of integrity and character, and. Um, I wouldn't have him for a friend. I wouldn't have him over for tea. You know, why would I talk to him? So, um, yeah, so I feel like he's going to lose. It's too late for him to step down. And this is like, this is so karmic that 45 or dishonest people put somebody out there. And then at the last minute, the truth is revealed and it's too late for them to get somebody else to fill in the place. And so they're all standing there with their pants down going, Ugh, let me run away from this person. But they can't really because it's too late. His name's already on the ballot. The ballots are already going out for early voting. It's a little too late. And 
I, I really feel sorry for the people who still uh, think like, a, I, I feel like it's only a tiny amount of people. I keep asking, will he still, is there more coming out about him? Like what else could come out? Is there, can you really, can you find more dirt on somebody? Um, more truth facts coming out? Um, I, when I, I feel like he's not, like he's inconsequential. Like the uh, the gut the Democrat gets already was ahead, and uh, yeah, okay. So I, I think what was his name, um, Everson Tony Everson. I don't know who the Democrat uh, person is running for governor in North Carolina, but he's going to win. I also feel like Kamala will win that state, and this really hurt the Republicans. But it's time for them to get hurt because they're not of good character. Okay. Uh, Diddy. Let's talk about Diddy. Now, this is also completely about what I said. Remember the lights turning on and you can see the critters. The, you can see all the dirt and the mess. Uh, people were seeing this, but now we had a video of him beating up his girlfriend or whatever. And so the feds finally acted on it. And he did horrible things to women and people and you know, people from other countries that were underage and our children. You know, this is a monster. I'm sorry. The news likes to portray him as like, oh, the sex guy. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Uh, you know, if you've ever been um, the victim of self uh, of um, sex abuse, which I have, I'm a survivor. A lot of women are, but it's not funny. It's not cute. It's not, oh, whatever. No, this is some serious nasty violent horrific stuff involving drugs and um treating people like they're inhuman okay so this is really horrible what he did and when i look at him so this is a person with a lot of money and i see him they said on the news he's laying on his steel cot with a little tiny mattress an inch and a half oh boo hoo wham I mean, yes, we need to have mercy, but um, I see him looking at his watch, so he's telling me I'm doing time. Yeah, you're going to do time. Now, what he's hoping is if the if there's a red wave, if 45 gets in, 45 likes people like this. That's his kind of guy, you know, a, a sex pervert. That's right up his alley as he does that. And Now, so he, he knows... If the administration, they're all, if you watched um, from, Russia, from Russia with Lev, you see more and more, or when you listen to these trials that are coming up, or the trial in New York where 45 got convicted, the criminality, these are gangsters. 45's a gangster and a con man. And so Diddy is, he, that's his people. Now, they have hung out before. I don't feel like 45 went to any of his parties, but I feel like he would be like meet up with him and like, let me send you a girl tonight. You know, that kind of thing to your hotel, some underage girl or something. Yeah. So that is, is compromise on 45, but I don't feel like Diddy is, Sean Diddy is the name. Ew, that I don't like to say names. Cancel, cancel that. Because it has the person's energy. Now, um, so what's gonna he's not gonna he's not gonna rat him out. This is a guy, yeah, he's used to a lot of money and people are sending him money in there, but he thinks he's gonna get out. He thinks if the election turns, he gets a pardon or he gets charges dropped, uh, they lose the case against him. He thinks that he thinks he's going to get away with this because Diddy's been getting away with this stuff for so long. He thinks he can do this. He can get away with this. It's not going to happen. He's not going to get away with it. I feel like he will um, probably spend the rest of his life in jail. He will be convicted and yeah, and he'll be surprised. <laughs> and there's nobody coming to get him out. Um, unless 45 were to win, but I don't feel like that's going to happen. No. And so, um, what, what, you know, will somebody kill him in there? Because the information he knows about 
No, I don't feel like anybody kills him. I think there's a chance he could he could commit suicide. But I think he just tries to have a racket in there. He, he always thinks he's going to get out or he's going to get win this or something. And it'll be a hard day when he realizes, no, you're not. You're not getting out. You're not. Nobody's coming to pardon you or something like that. So, okay. It's it's sad. Uh, a really hateful, sad person that turned his rage out on women and his addiction to sex. Yeah. I pray for his soul. Okay. Um, so I mentioned a little bit about aliens. What time is it? Okay. This, I could do a whole show on this. Um, so are there good or bad aliens here? And the answer is yes. And what I wanted to say, I said that in my last video, what I wanted to say was that um, aliens have been coming here for that, for millennia. A lot of us are incarnated aliens and that's a whole different story and that might sound really out there but okay um you gotta remember who you're talking to too so i'm not just looking at at this world so you know yes have we seen spaceship does the government know has there been beings yeah i have friends who've seen aliens in their house i've seen spaceships i've also seen aliens okay i've seen them up in the sky and i've seen them face to face and that's a whole nother story. But aren't angels, and I work with angels and uh, the wise guides, the saints that have been here for a long time, but aren't angels from another place? Wouldn't they be in, technically an alien? They're light beings, they're frequency. We are energy, we are frequency. And so, um, uh, you know, if you, if like if you walk out, in a, in the country where there's not a lot of city lights and you look up in the sky at all the stars and you think we're the only planet with intelligent life you're out of your mind it you know it it's so it's like come on it's like we're waking up like come on so yes there are other dimensions there are aliens are they here yeah do they have technology that they've been showing us yes but they do it incognito Speaking of that, I'm going to talk about the future of medical uh, science as much as I can here on YouTube. Okay, so, um, the, you know, there's a lady who wrote a book, We Are the Arturians. She was a doctor in New Mexico in the 80s, and uh, the little green men started visiting her. So, I mean, I've worked with people who have been abducted, um, and I'm not saying whether that's a good or a bad thing. There are aliens here that are helping us stop nuclear war, that want us to be at peace, that want us to evolve. But much like the the beings, the wise beings, the guides, the angels that watch over us and want us to have peace, it's kind of like you're watching over a group of teenagers. You can't really control them, but you help to guide them. But because of the law of free will here, they can't tell us what to do. We are here under agreement to learn and grow spiritually and hopefully other ways. We've grown technologically. Have we grown up emotionally and spiritually? We are. We are. A little, you know, lots of distractions here. People are just more distracted, more concerned about losing weight or their nails or their, you know, how their hair looks or their car or whatever, how many likes they have, whatever. But, um, I mean, those things matter because it's okay to enjoy the physical world, but it's also important to, you know, everything that we are about who we are, where we come from, what our history is, what the history of earth is, has, is not taught in school. They only go back about 10,000 years. They have found settlements and relics of things that are way older than that. But then they don't really want to talk about that. They, because then they have to change the history books and say that they were wrong. Um, but we are waking up. We are waking up to the fact that there is no death. 
that we are forever beings here incarnated in physical bodies, having a, a physical experience that we are largely creating and making up as we go and that we have more power than we know. So are aliens here? They've been here. Is it going to be announced in the news? Like, why do we need it announced in the news? What is the good? Like, if you're a very wise and intelligent alien, like, what is the purpose of that? So that doesn't really work on a big scale so far. So they come in in individual cases and individual, and, and so much so that, you know, Roswell was real, so much so that, um, it's uh, kind of widely known and accepted among people, but the government hasn't announced it yet. So it's kind of weird, weird and creepy. Like they're hiding something that like, yeah, we can all see. We've been seeing for a long time. Um, so, you know, is, is Jesus an alien? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we all are where our souls came from. What, like, what are, what are you just a meat suit and then you die? You, you're an accident. And then you die. <laughs> that a lot of people believe that, which is the part of the old paradigm. Okay, so I don't get too much off into religion and and all that here, but um, yeah, are aliens here? There are aliens that are here helping us, and there are aliens here like the petroleum uh, guides that see oversee wars, big pharma. Uh, the military industrial complex that sells war equipment. Are there some darker beings or energies around there? Yeah. Yeah. And so we are waking up to realize that our world, our dimension is not the only one. <laughs> okay. And that's kind of like all I want to say about that here in this type of video, because this is a more political video. Um, and so I talked about predictions being difficult because we're all reading on different timelines. And um, okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, mainstream media. Oh, let's know, you know, mainstream media is bought and sold by big pharma and other big corporations and billionaires. But medicine, mainstream medicine in the old paradigm throws pills or surgery at people to fix problems, which saves lives. It treats symptoms or saves lives, but it does not create health. So we are going to go to a, our well-being, to other forms of healing in dentistry, in the medical world, in the future. It's already here of healing through frequency, also relying on and connecting with the plant kingdom, the natural kingdom that's here, and uh, common sense that people have known for millennia. So, but as far as new technology, so some of the things that make people sick are toxins, viruses, or collective agreements uh, for people who are sensitive and healers that are just healing the collective or get stuck in a victim energy of always healing something or always being sick or never quite feeling well. And then, which is uh, brought uh, forward by this old paradigm that wants to throw treatments that aren't necessarily health and well-being. Now, in biblical times, we lived to be seven or 800 years. I feel like in the next 40 years, some of these young people now, these children, will live past, way past 100 years. That's possible. We are now in the dark ages, people could only live sometimes to about 30, maybe 60 if you were really lucky. And because of medical science, and I have great respect for doctors and nurses that are helping people and saving lives, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. They're very good also in emergency. If you've had an accident or a broken bone, you need to go 
to the hospital. But so, um, or, you know, for emergency care, they're very, we have that. And dental issues before would mean you got an, you, you would die unless you had the proper treatment with herbs or people who knew what they, someone who knew what they were doing. It is, I've seen it happen. It's possible. Okay. So, but the future, if you're training to be a dentist or a doctor or a nurse, you might want to keep an open mind because there's nothing like a professional licensed person to bring in the new information. Okay. Of where we're going in this world, but the new energy is coming in. And it is more of an energy of well-being, of health, of healing like with lasers or with frequency, which can sound like if you were uh, a couple hundred years ago and somebody showed you a cell phone or a computer, you'd think they were God. You'd start running and screaming. You'd think they're crazy. Oh, my God. So we don't really understand everything that's happening now. And we think, oh, that can't happen. Mm, maybe it can. So just keep an open mind. I just tell you, keep an open mind. And um, yeah, a lot of the food, I want to say something about the food industry, is after um, World War, we created a lot of seed oil to um, low quality oils for machinery or something. So stuff wouldn't rust or to keep machinery running in World War II. And after that, those companies that developed that had no, this really cheap oil that causes a lot of damage in the human body. Uh, we had nothing, they had nowhere to sell it. So they started putting it in food products. Same thing with uh, sugar or preservatives. And now we sell people food that is actually chemicals that's making us very sick. And most, and, and then if you go to buy like organic real food or grow it or something, it's more expensive. Yeah, because it's more expensive because they can make cheap stuff really cheaply and make a big profit. So here we come back to character of the people who do that, who are willing to create product and advertisement that this is okay, and then they tr make it taste good so people get addicted to it. And um, our health as a people is so deteriorated that we only live maybe 80 to 100 years on this planet now. That's the state of our health. Not, not very good. Yes, we have medical science for emergencies, but not, not very good. Okay, so I'm going to stop preaching here. And um, I have some classes coming up. I am now booking in, might have a couple things in late October. I'm booking in November and December. And um, that I'm, I am uh, also teaching some classes on, um, yeah, I'm probably booked in October, sorry. Um, I'm teaching classes on uh, meditation, uh, these ancient words to say to heal yourself and clear your energy. They're really cool. I'm going to do that November 2nd. They're really relaxing to kind of bring the temperature down with all this election stuff and just this craziness that's happening. It's really important to go inside and do your own work. And then on Christmas, the beginning of December, and these are on my website, there's the name Sybil Harmony, S-I-B-Y-L Harmony, uh, .com, my website. And then, so the angel class, working with angels and the wise ones, how to get better uh, messages, you, you know, tune into your own intuition. And uh, I like to do Yeshua healings on Christmas. They're really awesome. So check those out. I also have a um, first Monday of every month um, for an hour and 15 or an hour and a half class. If you want to come on and ask questions, it's not a political uh, meeting. It's a 
heal yourself. And we're going to do healings. To, I think this week we're going to start looking at how open are our chakras and how to heal the frequency of our body with um, muscle testing and looking at our chakra system. All right. So super cool. Thanks for joining me. Oh, um, you know, about the nine years of changes and chaos, it's just because everything is changing. We need to change. We need to evolve. And the old paradigms, the old systems, that's why nothing is working anymore, are going to keep falling apart. We're going to keep having extreme weather until we start to adapt to it and then do something to start respecting the planet. The planet is a living being. She knows if you are respecting or just, and she doesn't discriminate against red states or blue states or whatever. It is a living being and she needs to be respected. We are her caretakers. And when we don't take care of her now, are there times when the earth has more activity and cycles when worlds begin and end here? Yes. Yeah. So that's happening too. But a lot of it is our disrespect for the earth and are not taking care of the earth properly. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in and we shall see you uh, next time. Maybe um, I have a funeral this Saturday, so I may not be coming on much. I'll see if I can. All right. Take care. Bye.